Stoop kid, stoop kid. Stoop kid never leaves his stoop. All right, here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But uh, this is going to be our weekly vendor reset and must buys for Cassie Mendoza. Today is March 20th, but before we get to Cassie Mendoza, we do have to find the snitch. So please, like all of our Danny Weaver videos and all of our Cassie Mendoza videos, we have to find the snitch before we can find their locations. So go to the snitch, pick up the bounty, and then what I do is I go to the details for that bounty and then I click abort bounty, that way I can save it for later. Now, as long as your global difficulty setting is on heroic, all of those bounties will be on heroic. But we just found not only Cassie's location, but Danny Weaver's location. And for the actual snitch location, here are my coordinates. I am at 1408 by 3626. I am just south of the 1040 safe house. And to get here really quick, all you have to do is fast travel to the Jefferson Trade Center and run across the street. And that is where I found the snitch, so please let everyone know in the comments where you found the snitch, that way everyone can get to Cassie and Danny Weaver in a timely fashion. Now they did say that they fixed, quote unquote, fixed Danny Weaver. So we're gonna go to Danny Weaver after Cassie Mendoza. So there's Danny's location. This week he is in Southwest, but as far as Cassie, here she is. Foggy Bottom. So we're going to fast travel to the Truman Safe House, and then we're going to run over there to Cassie Mendoza. Now, after all that, we'll do her inventory reset video and all that, and then we'll jump over to Danny, and we'll see uh, if the developers fixed him to where he resets on Wednesdays, or is he just going to keep resetting on Mondays? Quite a number of questions to answer in today's video, which is fine. I mean, yesterday's update had quite a number of bugs, so I know the community is on eggshells right now with the developers because a lot of people lost their stuff yesterday, and it's quite un upsetting. I mean, understandably so. Hey, man, get away from that guy. Why, why are you messing with the NPCs, man? What are you doing? Get out of there. Okay, so for Cassie Mendoza's location, you can see that I've highlighted her location and I can actually see that it's underneath me. However, my GPS is telling me to keep running down the street. So when you get to this point, just look for the green door and just run over there to the green door. That way you don't get confused with the uh, GPS because it will just sit there and stay on the street and then you're gonna be like, where do I go? Just look for that green door. And in the hole in the wall, I've legit, here is Cassie Mendoza. Now, if you need to timestamp it, do whatever you need to, here is Cassie Mendoza's time, weekly agent. vendor reset and must buys. Now, starting off at the top, we have the named items. However, there is a disclaimer with these named items. If you are new or returning to the game, you might not see these bottom two named items. That is because you have to unlock these items before Cassie Mendoza sells them. So to unlock the shield splinterer, you have to hunt down and eliminate all of the year one hunters and open up the ivory chest that is in the base of ops. Once you do that, you're good to go and she will sell this weapon every week. Now for the hunter killer chest piece, you have to hunt down and eliminate all of the year two hunters. Once you do that, you have to open up the off white chest that is in the Haven settlement in New York City. And then you will receive this chest piece and Cassie will sell it every week thereafter. Now that is how you unlock these two items. Now starting off at the top, we have the designated hitter. This is the named marksman rifle with perfect reformation. And this week it comes with damage to targets out of cover, which is really good for your weapons, especially if you're trying to get the most damage out of your weapon. Moving on, we have the Caesar's Guard. This is the named Empress International chess piece with perfectly skilled. Now, this one comes with a skill haste and health, which is good for Empress International. What I would do is just recalibrate that health off for skill damage and then go skill damage, skill haste, you're good to go. 
Moving on, we have the Shield Splinterer. I already told you how to unlock it. Now, this is the named F2000 with Perfect Optimist as a talent. And this week, the weapon comes with Crit Chance as an attribute. And finally, we have the Hunter Killer chess piece. This is the named Golden Gear chest with Perfect Intimidate. And this week, ooh, it comes with Armor Region, which is really good for Golden Gear. Because remember, if you use two pieces of Golden Gear, you get 1.5% Armor Region as a brand set bonus. So having that Armor Region as an attribute is a good plus. What I would do is just recalibrate the skill damage and go like armor region crit, armor region headshot, maybe armor region hazard, something like that. Okay, now let's move on to the gear set items. We have a heartbreaker backpack with crit hit damage, which actually is really good. That's a good backpack. Um, if you need a heartbreaker backpack, pick this one up. All you need to do is just max out the armor, but remember using the backpack will double your bonus armor that you stack. So you need the backpack if you're running Heartbreaker. After that, we have the Rigor chest piece with headshot damage and Rigor gloves with skill damage. Uh, following that, we have Aegis knee pads with really high armor. Um, you could easily pick this one up and just recalibrate the explosive resistance off for, say, hazard protection, but this is a good one. Oh, Hazard, hold on, no, that's for Cavalier, Aegis, what am I talking about? Take off the Explosive Resistance and put on anything, Crit Chance, Crit Damage, Headshot, the Wikes. Moving on, we have a Heartbreaker Holster with good armor as well, holy crap. Um, all you need to do is recalibrate the status effects off for whatever it is you want, and this one's great too. Really, really high core attributes. And finally, we have a Hardwired Mask with Crit Hit Damage. Looking at the high-end items, we have a GR9 with flatline and max swap speed, a lightweight M4 with crit chance and reformation, a Empress International chess piece with skill damage, repair skills, and protected reload. Ugh. And finally, Overlord Armaments Mask with weapon handling and crit hit damage. Looking at the mods, we have Armor on Kill 16.3k, and drone plus two extra bombs. Now, must buys things to look for from Cassie Mendoza. The hunter killer is a good one with armor region. The designated hitter with damage targets out of cover is a good one. Going down to the gear set items, the heartbreaker backpacks a good one. The Aegis knee pads and heartbreaker holster both have really high core attributes. Going to the high end items, um. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend any high-end items. So, long story short, Designated Hitter, Hunter Killer, Heartbreaker, Aegis, and Heartbreaker. All right. Happy to do this. And that is it for Cassie Mendoza. If you were just looking for Cassie Mendoza, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like, subscribe, you know the whole spiel. But uh, now I need to go investigate Danny Weaver because they said yesterday that they fixed it. So in theory, you should be able to go to Danny Weaver right now and get his uh his next stock. Let's see. Because it said that he was restocking twice a week, but I've been checking him three times a week, so I'm not sure when exactly he's resetting. So let's just go over there and start a baseline and we'll see how it goes from here. Now it is Wednesday, March twentieth. And let's see if Danny Weaver is open. You got anything to trade? He is. He is open. Ooh, Danny Weaver is open right now. So what I'm probably going to do, everybody, is I'm probably going to make a Danny Weaver video as well. Because this is pretty big news. Five proficiency caches, two named item caches, and an exotic. I mean, what what is that? That's... Five, that's at least eight to ten items right there. So we need to check this one out. Glad we can make a and those are also gear or uh, god rolled items. So for the most part, all of those items, you're either going to get uh, one attribute maxed out or all the attributes maxed out. 
but we're going to check that one out. Um, I'll do the Danny Weaver video first. That way we can do this Cassie Mendoza later. So if you're watching this right now, I probably already posted it. But regardless, Danny Weaver is open today and is fixed. So on Wednesdays, you need to check Danny Weaver with Cassie Mendoza. But all right, everyone. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you enjoyed. This was your Cassie Mendoza Weekly Vendor Reset and Must Buys. So yeah, hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. And let's do a Danny Weaver video. Uh